Welcome back. We just finished learning the uh, Dunny numbers from the school that I guess must have been set up by again to teach uh, the Rivenies children Dunny reading and writing. You can see those floating balls again. Still don't really know what they're for. There's also a floating ball here that's conspicuously missing. But then again, so are all of them. Even the ones that are not floating. Um... Doesn't look like we can go anywhere else from here. That is a interesting looking structure in the water there. Looks like it has some skulls on the top. There's a thing looking out on it that also has a skull on it. From the looks of it. That's where the jungle is. We haven't quite found that yet, or the trees anyway. But because of this drawbridge here, we cannot go into the village. So, back we must go. Um, check this out again. We already aligned that properly, which puts this symbol in this orientation. Let's, do we have that in our, in our notebook? Um, yeah, we do. Corresponds to Dunny number five, apparently. Don't really know what to do with that information yet, but might be important to take a note of it. So let's make a, take a picture of it and note down the fact that this is the uh, totem by the tree. Um, yeah, we've done anything, everything else we can here, so all we can do is head back. <coughs> oh, Sunners are back. Do you trust me now, or...? Maybe? Well, I guess that answers that question. They do not light up under the lens. Guess that's reserved to the butterflies and the flowers in the tree. And the paint, of course. Okay, we can go back up here. And if we continue up here, we haven't been there before. But I kind of want to take another look at the totem pole we saw here. Uh, to see if it also has a 
line on it. It does. Oh, and by pure happenstance, I kind of lined it up properly anyway. Do we have that one? In our uh, notes? Yeah, we do. That's six. Okay. So this is the totem by the water pool in the cave. This is why it's annoying that you can't take uh, take notes in VR with the pictures. You can take pictures, but not notes, like I mentioned before. And yeah, it's can be kind of hard to take a picture of these that properly shows you where they are. And also shows, you know, what this looks like. Um, but if there's a totem here, is there anything else that lights up around here? Oh, yes. Yes, there is. Okay. It's, uh... Big blob of paint on the ceiling. Unlike the one on the beach, I can't really make any sense of this one. Since it looks like there's paint on, like, the side of the... Like, on this side of the... Of the... Stalactites. So, maybe the proper way to see it is from inside the water? can't go inside the water, unless we can drain this pool, which maybe the fact that we can drain this little basin is a hint to the fact that we can drain the pool some other way. Nothing obvious we can do with it right now, though. So, we'll come back to that later. Maybe we can drain that pool from elsewhere. We saw that we could... Uh, there's a pipe leading to the tree. So maybe if you... If you um, direct water into that pipe, it directs water away from the cave or something? Not quite sure. Oh, now we're up on that rope bridge that we saw for somebody is having a giant pizza tonight that is a big pizza cutter you almost kind of feel like the gaps in the water they don't quite line up with the gap in the rock here, but it feels like it's related. Except that... It's good, right, if bro bridges make noise. Um, except that I'm not quite sure how you even get a gap in the water. I mean, I guess the lake in the village had it too. Um, oh, here's the trees that we saw before. A bunch of them have been cut down. What on earth is that? Now, I'm no expert, but this doesn't look like it should be here. It looks like we're looking... In yes, we are! We're looking into the starry expanse. 
even see some of the other domes and structures. Whoa. That does not look good. I feel like that's a bad omen that that's just hanging out in the open here. Something tells me I shouldn't be touching that, but it doesn't look like I can. Um, can I, maybe if you jump fast enough we can make it to that other dome over there. Um, that's just bizarre. And something I actually didn't see on my first playthrough. Not because I missed it, although I, you know, wouldn't put it past me to miss something this obvious. I'm very good at missing things. Um, but like I said, my game had a few glitches, which started out with the maglev being a bit wonky. And the second thing is that this was not present. Uh, we'll see... It'll look a, a little bit different later, and that's what it looked like from the start for me. The only reason I found out that this existed is because there's an achievement for seeing it and going near it. Which I did not have. Um, let's see. Lots of these butterflies here. We can... view them in, uh, oh, there's a ton of them over there, view them in our magnifying glass. No other paint here that I can tell. Two ways to go, I'm just checking out this way first. And scare all the butterflies away. Wee. And they all come straight back. They must really like it there. Somebody left their axe there from cutting down the trees. Oh, and another... Um, totem. And stick figures. Quite a lot of them here. And another spinny wheel thing. Well, we know how this works. There we go. There. Take a picture of that. Um, do we have that in our... Let's see what, if that is a number? No. We don't. We only have these two orientations. All right, that might be a problem. It's right down where we found this anyway. Totem near jungle. Um, the other totems all had something else painted nearby. Like we had the on the rocks, and then well, I guess the tree is natural. And here we have the butterflies. Is that the only thing that we can see here? I guess... Wait a second. That seems to make a shape. And now my lens is glowing. That's weird. How did... How does, are these butterflies making a shape? Somebody must have put something on the 
floor here that they're attracted to. We know they're attracted to the paint, but I don't see paint, so it's not that. Um, I want to take a picture of this, but it's kind of hard to do. Can't really see the whole thing in one go. Something that's much easier to accomplish with... Uh, We'll do it in two pictures. There we go. Much easier to accomplish in VR because you have much more freedom in how you're looking through this. You can hold it at different distances from your eyes and stuff. On the other hand, it does not glow. It, oh, I didn't mean to take another picture. My finger was on the wrong button. Um, on the other hand, uh, the, the red glow thing doesn't happen in VR, which makes a few things a little harder. Um, is there a not actually eagle, but sound that's often used for an eagle here? Almost sounded like it. I don't know. Could just be coincidence, but that pattern looked very intentional. I just like making the butterflies fly away. <laughs> They do come back to exactly the same spots, so something is there that they want. And so much trees have been cut down here. Um, what's this? A minecart going off to places unknown. That could be interesting to look at. Where is that going? Over that way. I kind of want to explore it more here before I zoom off elsewhere. Let's go down this way. Hey! I know you! We've seen your big brothers in the temple. Or the, the shrine or whatever that room is. Bye! Okay, so those beetles do exist here too. They're not actually as big as the ones depicted in the rotating room, so thank god for that. You can actually hear more of them zoom around, although I don't see any right now. Go through here. Ooh, pretty blue fireflies. And they're gone. Very nice looking. Giant leaves, by the way. What kind of plant is that? Big trees. These trees are missing some bark, by the looks of it. The leaves also don't look great. Unless they're meant to be that color, I'm not entirely sure. We did see in those images in the rotating room that... Uh, we saw depictions of making paper. Of, like, paper falling off of trees. So is that why all these... Trees are cut down, and the bark has been stripped from these. I guess even Gen didn't want to deforest the whole island. I love the atmosphere in here. The sounds and the, the view. That is another giant dagger. Guess this island has one too. And another rotating dome. We know what to do with those now. Just need to find the little viewer near it. It's also a very cool place to visit in VR. I 
Why would someone put a giant dagger just in the middle of a forest? What's that rumbling? This tree looks like it's been stripped down a lot. That's more than just bark. Like they've cut a whole layer from the outside. Also cut a passage through it. It's kind of cool. Oh, it's a, is that the rotating I'm hearing? Yeah, I think it is. That makes sense, I guess. There's some stairs leading down past these look like bioluminescent mushrooms. Seems to be heading towards that giant dagger. Which is just hanging out here. Stuck through the rock. How did they even accomplish that? Very cool looking. Where does this go? Oh, back outside. That dagger looks similar to this one, I guess. That's a weird island. It's so tall. And there's like something on the top of it all along the outside. And more of these stick figures, and a totem. It doesn't seem to have the spinny part. It does have paint on it. Must have had a spinny part at some point. But, uh, it's not there right now. Which kind of ruins the theory of they all have to be set a certain way, because we can't set this one unless we can find it and bring it here, although it also doesn't look like it's connected to anything on the back. So I guess that's not the goal, to set all of them. I thought maybe you set all of them and then the drawbridge is lower or something. Doesn't seem like it. If there's a totem here, I'm expecting to see something else light up by now. Either... Ah! There's paint on these leaves. It's like a duckbill. Ooh. It's starting to glow. There we go. This one was a pain to find the correct orientation for it in VR, because like I said, the glowing doesn't happen in in VR. And you're much more free in how you can hold this and where you can stand. I mean, I already... I, I had to see the head of this and I knew what symbol it was because of the original game, but... Um, still. Some kind of a duck. Or duck-built platypus. Actually, come to think of it, the uh, sunners sort of look like this. Let's take a picture of it. But we don't have a symbol to go with it, because this thing is missing a piece. I hope that won't be a problem. The fact that there's such a clear symbol here definitely makes me think. Those butterflies are intentional. Can we see anything on the other islands? Don't see any paint anywhere else. Oh, here goes the pipe, by the way. I must be going from the dome back to 
the big golden dome. Seems windy out here. So I have to assume that the rotating dome here is another entrance into the starry expanse. Maybe that's similar to the one we just saw floating? Except these have been, well I mean, they have to be bigger than, than that one to be able to allow us through like that. But these have been covered by the metal plating and the dome, and that other one hasn't been. Maybe that other one will get bigger and then it's time for a sixth dome, or who knows. Nobody here. No villagers running around. Yeah, unfortunately the are weird looking mushrooms. The little girl is no longer here. As you can see running away in the original. Oh hey! There's a little viewer for the rotating dome. It's cool that you can get these kinds of perspectives now, which of course you wouldn't have been able to in the uh, original. Oh wow, this is a cool space. Oh, another effigy of that animal that we've seen in this weird school game and the temple. They definitely seem to worship or fear these animals. Why this is here? There's a door in the tree over, up there. Nothing else here. Just some lights set up to make this look even more imposing. Some lights marking the end of the path. Nothing there, though. No secret passages to find. Guess that's a dead end. Yeah, more of these plates with the symbol on it. Must be containing another fissure. And this is the only way we have left to go. Oh, whoa. There is lava down there. Or magma. I don't know. Is it still magma if it's just in a hole in the ground visible like this? I don't honestly know. Must be pretty hot here. These flowers seem to like it though. I feel like we've seen these. Weren't they in the offering bowls for the, the animals in the temple? Guess this is where to get them. And there's another gate. Which, when I was playing in VR, I thought would only open from the other side because I couldn't find the right place to interact with it. And then when I did try it open from the other side, it opened very slowly. Oh. We have been spotted again. You're wasting your time. They already know I'm here. Uh, what's this way? I feel like that's the direction 
towards where we came from, but let's check it out anyway. Yeah. This comes out here. I, I don't like that thing. It is creepy. Okay, uh, we've already been here, so let's go the other way. There's water here. And the lookout post. I gave these lights some blue coverings to make it look pretty. And there's a cave here. Nice little view of the ocean. Nothing much we can see. Oh. That's kind of cool. These light up. They kind of look like the... The things we saw underwater. The, the glowing blue things underwater. I guess they must have cut some off from the water and put them here to provide some additional illumination. Kind of neat. Doesn't provide much. Oh, and they go off. They don't stay on very long. It's pretty easy to miss, but there's actually a uh, small knife stuck in the wall here. And a drawing. Which I guess is meant to be Gen. This could be like a crude version of his symbol. And two people he is dropping into those animals, much like the game we saw in the school. And there's water here, kind of re reaffirming my idea that these might be fish. Does Gen feed villagers to these animals? That seems terrible. I feel like these knives, which belong to the people who helped me out of the cage and stole my book, so... ...have something to do with this paint. I feel like it's not a coincidence. Oh, the knife is actually right inside Gen's heart. Nice and subtle. Yeah, these whoever these people are, they don't seem to like Gen. Nothing else here? No. Uh, more water here. Seems to connect to another cave or possibly the outside, actually, to the ocean, which would make this salt water. Very easy to find out in real life, not so much in the game. You can sometimes see a villager running away, away in the village when you walk up here. It's very much a blink and you miss it moment, so maybe it did happen and I missed it. Um, or maybe it only happens if you approach the village from this side first without having gone to the other side, like I did before. Little mushroom shaped lamp. Those houses look pretty small. One might say cozy, or one might say small. 
And another drawbridge. Villagers do not want us there. This is where that submarine started. No sign of it now. Hey. That looks like another camera, which is looking straight at us. And it's turning to follow us. Okay, that's creepy. That is very creepy. Well, Cyan, it only took 27 years, but you finally got your moving camera. Yeah, this is something they want us to do in the original. Have the camera always face you. But with the pre-rendered images, it was just uh, a logistical nightmare to figure out how to pose the camera for each image. I would have to change it every time. But nowadays, in the world of real-time real -time 3D, we can have the creepy feeling that someone's always watching us. Presumably, Gen or one of his people. There's a ladder here, I guess for people who are swimming to get out of the water. Wait, is that? There's another tiny dagger there. Wait a second. Huh! It's another representation of those animals. Also looks like there's a switch there or something. Have to go swimming to reach it, though. Don't know if this symbol is important, but... Take a picture of it, nonetheless. But we can't go any further. The village is blocked off. So, now what? We could go back to uh, Temple Island. And take a look at the uh, telescope that we diverted steam to, which I forgot to do. But unless that leads us somewhere new, there's not much we can do there. But there is another way off this island that we haven't tried. Which is that minecart that we saw up here. So... I feel like we should try that out. Also, we'll be happy to get as far away from this thing as possible before it like, expands and swallows the whole island or something. I don't know if that can happen, but I'm not taking any chances. Alright, so let's go down here. That does nothing. I'm assuming it's a button to call the thing. Can we get in the minecart, or...? Oh, we can get on the minecart. I don't know if this is a minecart. Not really mining anything here, are they? Cutting down trees, so presumably transporting wood. Looks like a minecart, though. Alright, let's try to switch. And off we go! I hope this track is safe for human use. Um, weird rings. And we're underwater! This does not look like it's a tube we're going through. More weird water behavior.
I see the sky! And we're out. Oh, this takes us to the volcano looking island. Why does Trank have to go underwater for so long? I have no idea. Looks cool though. And we made it! To a third island. Interesting looking place, couple of structures here, which I guess we will explore in the next video.